Hey guys, in the previous two videos we have discussed uh, the transform and ROC of uh, finite length and infinite length sequence uh, where under that still we st discussed on left sided, right sided and double sided sequence right. Just to recall, uh, ROC of a finite length right sided sequence is entire z plane except at z equal to 0 right and ROC of a finite length left sided sequence is entire z plane except at z equal to infinity and uh, ROC of a finite and double sided sequence is entire z plane except at z equal to 0 and infinity right and similarly ROC of a infinite length right sided sequence is outside the circle with radius a and ROC of a infinite length left sided sequence is inside the circle with radius b and ROC of a uh, infinite length double sided sequence is actually it's it's kind of uh, ring kind of shape in the z plane something like this i have it actually it's a kind of something like this right it's a kind of ring in between a and b where a is the right sided sequence and b is the left sided sequence right fine <coughs> now uh, i i just have to say a few more points on roc uh, let me finish it in this video okay so say i have a infinite length right sided sequence uh, the sequence is something like this x of n is equal to say 0.1 power n u of n plus 0.6 power n u of n plus 0.4 power n u of n ok I want to find its z transform and uh, ROC finding z transform is not a big deal we already have the uh, standard format for this what, what is the z transform of x of n is equal to a power n u of n we derived it right so it is x of z is equal to what z divided by z minus a right and what is roc magnitude of z is greater than magnitude of a it is nothing but outside the circle with radius a right and so we apply this result here so x of z is equal to solution x of z is equal to this is in, in the form of a power n u of n which is nothing but z divided by z minus a what is this ROC? Magnitude of Z is greater than A is 0.1 here, 0.1, right? Plus, what is the transform of this? Z divided by Z minus 0.6. Z divided by Z minus A, right? What is its ROC? Magnitude of Z is greater than 0.6. Okay. Plus, what is this? Z divided by Z minus A. A is 0.4. What is its ROC? Magnitude of Z is greater than 0.4. These are the individual. ROC is for individual sequence but what we need here is uh, the combined ROC okay so whenever we have more than uh, one sequence in this uh, in our signal uh, its ROC is actually intersection right uh, it's nothing but the combined ROC is magnitude of z is greater than 0.1 intersection with magnitude of z is greater than 0.6 intersection with magnitude of z is greater than 0.4 so the regions where all the three will intersect will be the uh, combined region of convergence for this sequence okay uh, in this case we have totally how many circles we have three poles right one two three so we have three circles one is at point smaller circle is this this pole is point one this pole is 0 0.4 and this pole is 0 0.6 so I have three circles point one point four and point six okay so all are here it is greater than ROC is greater than 0.1 for this sequence ROC, for this sequence ROC is greater than 0.4 and for this sequence greater than 0.6 okay when I put this arrow mark actually it's the whole whole part of it okay so this is for second circle and this is for the third circle with radius 0.6 now here we have ROC of only 0.1 circle in this region right whereas in this region I have ROC of 0.4 circle as well as 0.1 circle right this cannot be considered as a combined ROC whereas outside in this region greater than 0.6 I have ROC of both 0.6 circle 0.4 circle and 0.1 circle ok so therefore combined ROC is combined ROC of this sequence is magnitude of Z is greater than 0.6 
in the sense it is outside the outermost circle so i i cannot write i cannot show like this i can show like this its roc is this is 0.6 okay this is the roc of the given sequence okay so this shaded portion is roc this is real part of set and this is imaginary part of set so this is a set sum of this sequences this i can even simplify this but will keep as it is for time being okay this is the result transform of the sequence and this is the roc of the given sequence fine so basically if i have more than one sequence it will be always more than one sequence and if it is right sided sequence it is always outside the outermost circle okay roc is outside the outermost circle fine next we'll take up one one more example i need to discuss say i have minus 0.2 power n e of minus n minus 1 plus 0.3 power n e of minus n minus 1 plus 0.6 power n e of minus n minus 1 so this is the sequence i have x of n and i want to find its z transform at roc okay so again we already have the standard result for this we will use that x of z is equal to Uh, we derived it right. What is the z transform of x of n is equal to minus b power n u of minus n minus one? Its z transform x of z is what z u by z minus p, but its roc is less than magnitude of p. Okay, roc of a power n u of n and r uh, sorry z transform of a power n u of n and z transform of minus b power n u of n u of minus n minus one are same. There it is z u by z minus a. Here it is z u by z minus p. Whereas the difference is in ROC. There ROC is outside the circle. Here ROC is inside the circle with radius p. Okay. So what is minus b power n e of minus n minus one? It is z u by z minus p, right? It is z u by z minus. What is the value of p? It is zero point two. If you have minus, you have to put plus here. Okay. Now we have plus here, but we derived it for minus of. So I have to put minus. This is z u by z minus what is b 0.3 what is the roc for this magnitude of z is less than 0.2 right and here magnitude of z is less than 0.3 and i have plus i have to put minus here z u by z minus 0.6 what is the roc for this magnitude of z is less than 0.6 fine so what is the combined roc combined roc is what magnitude of z is less than 0.2 intersection with magnitude of z is less than 0.3 intersection with magnitude of z is less than 0.6 Fine. So what is so what is the combined ROC now? If I take it to Z plane, this is real part of Z. This is imaginary part of Z. I have three circle with 0.2 radius, with 0.3 radius, and with 0.6 radius. Right? These are the three circles I have. Now, for 0.2 radius, it is less than here. ROC is is less than. Whereas for 0.3 radius, it is less than. So it comes. Inside the circle, whereas 0.6 also it comes inside the circle. Fine. So in anyhow outside we don't have any coverage, right? So all the three ROCs combines where it is less than the it is less than actually of 0.2 radius circle, right? So this this part this part has all three circles. Uh, ROC. Therefore, ROC of this is actually basically it is less than 0.2, 0.2. So this is the ROC, real part of Z, imaginary part of Z. In the sense, ROC. I can write this as ROC is magnitude of Z is less than 0.2. The concept I'm trying to tell here is ROC of a infinite length left-sided sequence is inside the innermost circle. Okay, inside the innermost circle. If it is a left-sided sequence. If it is a right-sided sequence, if it is a right-sided sequence, more than one right-sided sequence, it it's actually outside the outermost circle. Basically, I have to check the regions where all sequence, all individual sequence ROC will inter intersect. That region is actually combined ROC. Okay.